I'm in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline, and I'm amplifying the voice of a local woman who says she has no idea when she'll be able to move into her newly built home in Riverview because the company that built it keeps offering her closing dates that never happened. So I went digging for answers. I literally have to laugh so I don't cry. Humor is how Kristen Hill is coping when it comes to her newly built home in Riverview. But if you ask her how she really feels, this is what she'll say. It's, it's a nightmare. Hill has been fighting for answers about her closing date for months. Documents she provided shows that she initially paid a $7,800 deposit for her home and was pre-qualified for an in-house loan through KB Home in April of 2023. By May, she had sunk another $17,000 into the project to customize her home. She claims she was verbally quoted a move-in date of January of 2024 so she rented out her Miami condo and temporarily moved in with her mom out of state. But Hill says that date came and went. So I'm like, I call him like, oh, well, well you know, we're going to have to push it back. I'm like, okay, to when? Oh, we can't give you an exact date right now. Later, in an email exchange on March 8th, an employee told her her estimated closing date is set for May 16th of 2024, but she pushes back and claimed that someone else told her it was April 14th. That employee said they would have to check. In another email exchange on May 15th and on May 16th, she's asked to confirm the source of certain bank transactions. Hill tells the employees she's already provided this information. She is then told her tentative closing date will be pushed to June or July. On May 28th, an employee questioned the source of her original deposit check from last year. By June, she is asked to reconfirm where she got the money to pay for her custom home upgrades. Every week, there's a new stipulation. I have never seen that it takes 15 months, because it's been 15 months to get approved for a loan. On June 10th, she's then quoted a tentative closing date of June 20th. But once again, that date comes and goes, and that's when she contacted me. I've been staying with friends since I came back from my mother's house because I don't have any place to go. I rented out my place in Miami. I was running a business. I was baking cakes in Miami for my business, and I closed my business down prematurely because I'm thinking I'm going, so that's still money I'm missing out on because I haven't been able to start my business back. At this point, Hill says she's holding out hope because the money she spent so far is not refundable. I don't have $25,000 to just throw away. I don't have $25,000 to just give anybody. If I had it like that and I could just throw it away and just walk away, I would. She's now calling on KB Home to let her into her home. <laughs> I also put out a call to the company's PR department. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can now be completed as dialed. And got this message. My first email to that same department on July 16th went unanswered. And my second email on July 30th bounced back. In the meantime, as Hill waits for answers, she has this message for the company. This dream of owning a home, you guys, like, you, you've crushed that for me. Since our interview, Hill was offered one more closing date by the company, and she said it was set for July 30th, but that never happened. She is now considering her options when it comes to consulting with an attorney. In the meantime, I have checked in with Hillsborough County. They have told me in a statement that KB Home does not have a certificate of occupancy for Hill's house, meaning legally no one is allowed to live there just yet. To read their full statement on what the company should be doing to get that certificate, you can head to our website, abcactionnews.com. In Hillsborough County, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.